superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found in this week, we will learn to spell words with R-controlled vowels, O-R and O-R-E. In phonics, we will continue learning about R-controlled vowels, O-R and O-R-E, and we'll be learning about compound words. On Tuesday, we'll be learning about the story where plants grow. On Wednesday, we will continue learning about pronouns I and me, and on Thursday, we will learn to write a friendly letter. On Sunday, we'll be learning about our controlled vowels. And the spelling words for this week are form, torn, sore, more, storm, and sore. Now, let's learn to use them in sentences. Should I stay or go? I filled in my name on the form. Your dress is torn and you're bleeding. Her throat was sore and she was sneezing and coughing. I would like more time. There is a big storm on way. She took him to the store. In phonics, we will learn about our controlled vowels, O-R and O-R-E. Our controlled vowels occur when the vowel is followed by the letter R or the posse R, which influences the way the vowel is pronounced. So we have here sport, torch, horse, store, shore, core, or board and bore. We have more words ending with O-R-E, like adore, core, shore, ignore, soar, store, and tour. Compound words are formed by combining two smaller words to create a new word. So we have a word rainbow. Rainbow is a compound word which is formed by combining the two smaller words which are the word rain and bow. We have more examples here of compound words like sunflower, butterfly, cupcake, playground, toothbrush, baseball, jellyfish, and lighthouse. In this week, we'll be reading a story titled The Little Red Hen. It's a fable. And the little red hen knows what she wants and she's willing to work hard for it. But none of her friends seem to be interested in helping her to make some yummy bread. Now, will she share with them when it's all done? The targeted reading strategy is to connect to prayer knowledge the objective is to use the reading strategy of connecting to prior knowledge to understand the te text. And we need to identify the problem and the solution of the story. This story is to teach the importance of hard work, cooperation and sharing the rewards. We'll be learning about pronouns I and me. I is a subject pronoun. It is used when the person is the one performing the action in a sentence. For example, I am going to the store. Sarah and I are working on a project. Can I have some cookies? I, we put it before the verb and it's the subject. Me is an object pronoun. And it is used when the person is one receiving the action in a sentence or when the person is the object of preposition. 
For example, she gave the book to me. So to is a preposition. After it will be an object pronoun, which is me. They invited Sarah and me to the party. If you notice, me comes after the verb invited. So me, it should be an object pronoun. In this week, we will learn to write a friendly letter. So we will start it by writing the heading. So the heading is like the address on an envelope. We start with the date at the top right corner, for example, October 15, 2016, or you could say January 23rd, 2024. Greeting, use friendly words like Dear Tom, dear Omar, or dear Miss Rima, or dear friend. The body is when you write a story. And it's the main part where you can share the information. You could use simple sentences like, I hope you are doing well, or I had fun at school today. Or you could say, how are you? I know you broke your arm and I hope your arm doesn't hurt you in the cast. Closing, when you explain or when you say goodbye or sign off. You could suggest closing like love or your friend or sincerely signature when you write your name.